everybody experiences change, grief, and loss in their lives. It's important to think ahead and prepare for a loss so that you have the support you need to deal with life changes. Think about how you deal with loss in your life. Let people know how you feel and what you do when you grieve so they can recognize when you're sad or hurting. Tell people how they can support you. Sometimes as you go through a loss or change, it's hard to tell people what you need them to do to support you. Tell people ahead of time what help or support you may need. Sometimes people are scared to tell others that they're sad or hurting. When you have a loss, it's important to tell those you trust so that you can work together to deal with the loss. Let's learn how others have dealt with challenging life changes. Up to mom's death, um, before mom's death, I would get scared of people's death. And I would get nervous for the, probably a month after, I, whether it was family or relatives or even a friend. Um, or someone that I knew from, from work, I would get scared. Oh my gosh, someone died. Oh my gosh. And now, now that I have touched death, and what I mean by that is I was in the room when mom died. I was in the room when she closed her eyes for the last time. Um. I'm no longer scared. I'm sad when people die. Don't get me wrong. I'm really sad. It's a sad thing. And I'm saying I'm so sorry that someone dies. But I'm no longer saying, oh my gosh, someone died. I lost my grandma in 2011. When she died, I do admit it was a little bit hard at first, but as time go go went on, I I I say to myself, you know what, I am going to be okay, cause. Even though she's not here, I still remember all the stuff that, that she taught me. So I'm just real g grateful to have that kind of love. L -l -l like, it, it's nothing like a grandmother's love. I think that a lot of the time people People with disability are not allowed to, to um, to grieve. A lot of the time, people are not allowed to say, "See the person dying," but I'm really happy. I'm really proud that people have allowed me that that opportunity. My. He advice to people is try to think of the good times and just start living your life. Once you start living your life just, just like they had attained you to live your life, things will get easier and better to a point that you will find that joy even though they not there. We as people with disability need to be part of the future planning. We need to be, because it's our life. Yes, I miss mom and dad, and yes, it is a scary thing. I'm not saying that it is a fun thing. When, when, mom, when mom died, I 
knew that dad that was there to help me and to support me. But when dad died, I was so scared because because you know your parents are are um are gone. And you need to we as people with disability need to feel like we're part of that process. And we have to be part of that process. Preparing for and dealing with change, grief, and loss can be hard. Remember, reach out to the people you trust. Tell them how to recognize your grief. Tell them what they can do to support you. When you're sad, keep trying to communicate with the people you trust. Thank you.